Okay, so uh, I'm gonna answer some more questions today. I got a questions from Coca-Cola. Uh, and hey, I'm just wondering if you take any physics related courses once you're in pharmacy school. I have noticed, uh, I have a choice to do one semester or two semesters of physics and I'm not sure if it's worth to do two. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good question. You know, I took one semester of physics um, and, but the school I applied to didn't require physics, but other out-of-state schools did require physics. And so, you know, honestly, pharmacy school, you don't really use physics. No, never. Um, at least the one I go to. And I don't think you would really need it in pharmacy school. Personally, I, I don't think you really need it. So, you know, if you only need one semester, then just take one semester. There's really no point in taking another one if, unless you're really good at physics and it'll boost your GPA. But for me, if I took another semester of it, it probably would have made my GPA worse. Uh, I wasn't very good at the physics stuff. Uh, so that's a good question. So next question I have um, from XP Sayin. Uh, dear pharmacy student, I have a question. Do you have anything, do you know anything about PharmD physician assistant joint programs? Uh, so I never looked into this path, but I know that a lot of schools or some schools at least have this type of joint program so you can get your PharmD and become a PA, a physician assistant with prescribing authority. So basically you'll be a super physician assistant or a super pharmacist, I guess, because you'll know all the drugs really well and you are able to prescribe and diagnose people with certain illnesses and things like that. Um, I believe someone at our school is in the PA pro joint program and I can't remember if it was an additional year of school or if it was two additional years, but um, basically you just look into the program for the school you're attending. You know, some, some schools might have it, some might not so um, definitely make sure they have it if that's what you're interested in and I definitely recommend going that route because um, you'll be two different fields into one and you'll have prescribing authority and so you'll have you'll be a lot more marketable and um, easier to find a job basically so that's a good choice uh, I have another question from Vince one two three four five dear pharmacy student I'm currently doing a my prerequisites for pharmacy school but I'm lacking in work experience. Uh, I've tried to ask a few independent stores and retail stores if they accept me as a volunteer but they all say that I need to be licensed or have insurance to be in the store. How can I possibly have work experience in my application if, I, if no pharmacy will accept me? You know this is very true. I know a lot of students are having a lot of difficulty finding a pharmacy experience. Um, back in 2006, I literally, you know, asked about 10 to 20 different pharmacies around the area and everyone said no because of the liability issue and all that, those other issues. And I had a pharmacy assistant license. I actually had one and they still said no. I couldn't even volunteer. Um, and so what I did was I had volunteered previously in high school at a hospital for like three years and so I had some connections there and I asked them you know I'm struggling finding a place to allow me to just volunteer and get some pharmacy experience and so the people I knew there have reached out to their network you know people their connections and then I was able to finally um, land um, volunteer position in an independent compounding pharmacy as well as an inpatient pharmacy uh, in a hospital so I was really lucky in that sense and so I, I highly recommend you try to reach out to whoever you know that might be able to help you out and if you're struggling um, definitely contact the school of pharmacy where you want to apply to and be like hey look you know I know that having pharmacy experience is very uh, uh, highly recommended before applying to pharmacy school or getting into this field. I, I really want to learn more about pharmacy and what pharmacists do day to day and can I'm struggling to find a place that will let me volunteer. Can you help me out? Some something like that, you know? And they should be willing to help you out and find a place where you can get some experience. Um, another thing is the insurance thing probably shouldn't cost 
too much money um, but I know as students we're really poor we don't have that much money but if you can somehow get the insurance if a place if you say hey if I get the insurance you'll let me volunteer here then go get the insurance you know and try to do it um, whatever way you can get in and especially if you need a pharmacy assistant license just do that I think it's just a four-hour HIV class AIDS class or something like that and you get certified so just get those things done um, and you know the, your department of health for whatever state that you reside in should have uh, an application to fill out for a pharmacy assistant license and it'll tell you where to go to get the four hours of required coursework to get certified so uh, thank you for watching please subscribe thumb me and remember eat your vegetables